Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to add USB support to your VirtualBox. So let me bring up my VirtualBox and if I go to the settings, hopefully you can see enough details. The team is a bit messed up, but this doesn't matter. So I just click on one of the virtual machine here and go to the settings. And if I go to the USB port, so you can see that it says that no devices is available, right? So that means that if I pl I cannot plug anything, uh, any USB stuff to my virtual box. And if I go to the uh, preferences here and under the extension, you see that there is nothing, no extension here. So what you have to do is just to keep note of the version that you have. So here I have I'm running on six one. Uh, 24 uh, release whatever right so the, the most important part is the actually the the first part before release so 6124 right so I just keep note of it and then I have to go and search something so I just search visual box download and if I go to the download page Then there is a part that is about downloading the extension pack, right? So let me just search it. So here's the extension pack, right? So what we have to do to enable the USB support, we have to download the extension pack. But the most important part is that your extension pack should match with your virtual uh, box version so here as you can see is 6124 uh, my virtual box also is 6124 right so then you just don't uh, press this button and then download your extension pack so it's going to download it right and the next step is to install it once it's downloaded so now i have downloaded it and i'm going to open my virtual box again go to the preference again extension and then i click this plus button here so since i previously downloaded the extension pack so now i have to download but that doesn't matter i click open so here it says uh, whether i want to install it then i accept with the user agreement of course without reading and now i have to provide my root password so this one i'm running actually uh, on linux and this what happens so now it has downloaded the extension pack so if I go to the USB again, you you see that basically the USB settings has changed. Now I have USB 1.1, 2, and 3. So I set it to USB 3, but still it says that no devices is available. So if you are a Windows user, most probably what you have to do, you have to restart your machine and then open your virtual and run your virtual box as admin which means that you have to right click it then run as administrator however if you are a let's say a mac user or a linux user like me what you have to do you have to add actually one more you have to do one more thing and let me bring up my terminal here so this is my terminal and what i have to do actually i have to add my user to the vbox users group so sudo uh, user mod dash ag then vbox users let me see whether i got it correct yes and then i add my name so this is my username so i added my username to this uh, group which is a vbox user so in Mac, this, in Mac OS, the syntax might be a bit different. So, you, but I am sure that you can figure that one out. So, uh, still things uh, won't be changed. So, if I go to the settings, you see that it still it shows no devices available, right? So, to fix this one, what I have to do, I have to log out and log in again. So, let me log out and log in again. Then I continue from there. See you soon. All right, I'm back again. So now I'm going to the USB and see whether I can see all my USB devices. So all of them are here. I select one of them and press OK. So if I uh, start my virtual machine, I should be able to access to that USB device. So that's all for this video. And as always, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.